let's get start demo first so here i have a application which is a string link pdf which is local hosted in my locally right and which have you know many many options for example see over here in the organization level see if you have a compress merge split rotate remove organization organize multi multi page and layout adjust page and crop pdf as well as there is another feature you know convert to pdf so here you can just convert your image to pdf image uh, convert file to pdf url or website to pdf html to pdf and mark down the pdf so not only this actually there is a many many other all options over there like pdf to image pdf to word pdf to presentation pdf to rtf pdf to html pdf to xml pdf to here so i'm not going to all that and a feature but yeah we'll check few uh, of that how is working and also we will deploy in our local and same thing we can do in our uh, production as well and what other the feature over here see there is a many many tools as well not only tools but there is a many many other options as well and as well as there we application which we can just handle in a direct uh, you know you know dark mode and you know normal mode and we have you know, also the choose the options where you can just choose that whatever language you want so based on this you can just change it and you can just use it and not only this we have uh, another option if you click that setting option so be this this is also provided api so once you click that api there's all that api which we have seen in the feature right so all that features they actually given that api which we can use for our development perspective and we can develop whatever kind of things actually be required for a pdf so we can just use this api and we can develop our application so everything actually we will do so let's see first actually few of the feature how is working so first i will take it uh this url to pdf right so once you click so see it is asking to uh, give that url so let me open any of the url for example uh dot net wikipedia so let me open another dot net wikipedia so here is the dot net wikipedia right and i'll just copy this link and go back to here uh where is that okay so my application is running here so i'll just simply paste it over here and convert so once you convert it will take some times not only just few seconds and after that you will get that yeah see once it's a uh, complete it it will automatically download and open is that and once you open now you all to see whatever that wikipedia have they just just convert it to as a pdf so not only this there is a many other option as well if you see so for example uh pdf to word or html to pdf as well so let me open let me click that and if you have any html for example i have a as a html file so if i just click over here as a desktop so i have that as html file so let me open this guy and once i convert so it it, it will automatically convert that html to pdf so let me open that now see this is just converting to html to pdf so this is my html which was i just prepare and then also whatever image i'll have so that image also will be populated over here right so this is a nice tool actually uh, which is a string link to pdf which we can use uh in our locally is uh, as well as you know we can deploy our production app right so let's get a start how we can actually achieve how we can you know host it and how we can use it in our local so first what you need to do uh if you first time visit my channel so i'm especially recommend go to my channel this is a real world example here you can just learn many many other things as well uh, for the dot net and uh, as a full stack developer in many many things and also there's a one more options over here which i just covered you know many uh, month year month ago that is pdf so if you search at a pdf so i just already just create a as a pdf session so how we can generate a pdf in our program at least right uh, with the image and without image and everything right so you can just check out that one also if you want to create our pdf and all so let's get start so first of all what you need to do so see this is that official website of that string link tools so you can just check out this link and also i will have a, i will provide in my de video description so you can take it from there and here 
actually you can see what about is that and what is the benefit and all and simply it is saying it is a chat gpt powered by the chat gpt right so i'm not going to details but yeah i'll just show you what is that uh, official website and where you can just get it and how you can just want to learn more about this guy right and directly i will go to in our you know uh, get started and installation part so here that get started in response so there is a two way actually see you can just host it via the docker container and also the local host so as of now in this session i will use this guy because this is very easy for the docker because whatever dependencies are all everything will take care itself i don't need to take in care so that way i will use the docker so click that guy and once you click here it will provide that docker version so whatever the docker and you know uh, docker file actually be required so that you you can get from here so see this is a two type of uh, docker image we have the particular string link here so one is that you know full and another one is that ultra so ultra is means very light version and full means they have that full mode right and also they provide actually what is that light mode what we have technology we have using and full mode what we have the technology using and what are the feature actually available for light and full so everything actually over here you can learn it but now i will just start to uh, implementation so let me click that uh, installation guide and here you can just you know uh, go to this section so this is that standard and light and also this is that command so don't worry about that i'll show you uh, in a practical and also we have that uh, mechanism using that you know the docker compose file also we can use uh, docker compose file and we can uh, host it in our application using the docker compose so now what you can do actually we require you know one image so where you can that image image you can get it from here uh, let me open here go to that you know and also see there is a also uh that github link which we who can get that all that open source code over here see this is that open source code there's a two way ideally you can just create a image using this docker file just download and just you know download and create an image for here and now second option is you have to go this docker pull command right so if you go to this you know docker hub website and you will get this is that image name right so this is that image name and you can just use this guy so this is that you know image name so using this image name you can just you know download and then you can host in your docker right so it is very easy so what i will do simply i'll just copy this guy open any command prompt and here first of all you have to install docker so right so before using that uh, this this hosting environment so you have to install docker desktop so which i already install in my uh, window application so you can just install uh, the docker desktop in your local machine and also you can just check that version so see docker version i have installed this guy so whatever docker you just install first and then once you do and docker install you can just simply use this command which i just copy from there docker pull that and a fruit tail and as pdf and then hit enter and see it will take some time to uh, download over here in our local desktop right so i already uh, actually download it so that's why it's quickly download but yeah if you do first time definitely it will take some time and if you go to that open the docker desktop and here you can look that uh, file so this is that image right so this is that image and this is image already download and it is size only just 1.5 gb right so that i will use and meanwhile what i will do i already actually running over here right so first i will just stop that right and also i will remove that so that there is a no confusion right so i will show you that from scratch how we can run this this image whatever i just download right so this image how we can run and host it in number locally so once you done now go to that command prompt over here you have to you have to run this com you have to fire this command right so let me show you go to that installation guide here you have to just copy this docker run command and you just specify you know whatever the volumes locations and docker enable security installation books you know and uh, whatever the names right so this is that name whatever you name you can just change it over here so let me copy this guy right and open any notepad 
and uh, let me go back over here see i just copy from here uh, that copy from there and paste it over here right and this is that everything's and whatever name you want you can just change it over here as a container name so this is the string pdf right so if you want to same name you can keep it if you want to change so you can change it right so let me i use same one so let me copy right and go back to open here and just fire this command and hit enter so once you hit enter see i our actually uh, container is set up and running this container using this port right 8080 port and uh, also you can just check like docker ps command so whatever docker actually running container is running it will available over here see my container which we i just created this guy right and it is running on this host it right and also you can just open the docker container and go to that container and see this is that guy which is running also it is saying the running mode and this is that port is open so what i need to do simply uh, before running this guy actually okay so what i will do simply click over here and i see see whatever the logs over here see it is automatically running it is saying whatever configuration required configured and it is navigate to this guy right so you can simply just copy this guy or just simply you can click over here and click this guy so once you click over here see now your application got running in your local right perfectly and you can just use whatever feature you want you can just use so what i will use now uh in the demo i use this converting and all right so what i will use now now i will use some of that pdf where actually i can just add that image right so see here the one of the options i can add the image from this pdf so let me open any pdf so for example this is that my invoice right and in this invoice i want to add one image so let me add that image click that image i choose that image over here so for example i want to add my photo okay so let me go to my photo directory here and uh, choose my my photo where is my photo okay this is that fine photo yeah so see how easy i can just edit over here right and also we can small and big better whatever you want so you can just add it and after that you can just download so whatever image you can just edit in this pdf you can get it over here right so very very easy and not only this there is a many other tools as well so you can just use it which is completely free in for the local or those are the feature if you want to use from that pdf you know the adobe reader pdf so definitely you have to pay it something right so that is very nice thing so you can just use it and apart from this actually i will show you as a api as well right so let me click that api and now see all the api also is running so i'll show you uh, from the api perspective how it's working so it is a swagger so let me go to that conversion part so it is a conversion right so let me see there's a that same api which is convert to url to pdf right so what i will do again i'll just try to put that url so go back to something for example i'll take this guy only right so take this guy and paste it over here and execute now it is done and also you can get it the download file over here and once i click the download it should be download and once you open see that page itself is you know a create a document right for me as a pdf and we can use it so it is very flexible uh be use which using that uh, using that you know api as well so whatever you know feature you are able to see over here those are feature uh, you know api also will available in this here so we can use both way either if i want to use my program admittedly i want to use in my application so i can use that uh, i can consume this api and i can use it very easily without need any writing and code and all right so very easy so uh, that's all for this session have a nice day thank you and don't forget to like subscribe and share